Is everyone? Victor Holloway, the one and only. What? What do you want? I can't hear you from over here. You'll need to speak up, darling. Or, actually, you could just shut that pretty mouth because nothing you say matters here. Help! Is anyone else here? Please, help me! Oh, Victor. I actually feel sorry for you, you know? Now focus, Victor. It's time to get to work. Dr. Austerlitz will be here soon, and we have to prepare for the show. No, 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 no. You're fucking crazy. This whole town has lost its shit. Do you ever shut the fuck up? Uh, 
please make some space on the stage. Move those trees apart and lower the cross. Our star actor needs to be presented properly. What are you talking about? If you keep slacking, I'll start counting down. And when the countdown comes to an end, well, you won't like it much, I reckon. You remember those guys in leather with the big, hard clubs? I bet they remember you. Why are you doing this to me? Why? Uh, you bore me. Now get to work. Time is of the essence, Victor. <laughs> Yes, you're doing great, but you only have a minute left, so don't blow it. Half a minute remaining. Time is running out. Don't waste it. Twenty seconds. The actors are warming up before going on stage. They're close now. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six. Uh -huh. Here they come. Five, four, three, two, one. Victor was slacking. Oh no. Now entering the stage is a mysterious new character that will rush him. Warning, she's got the looks that kill. Two minutes, only two minutes remaining. Nine. You did great. Such a capable man. What's all this for? L let me talk to Dr. Osterlitz, please. We can work this out. I'm afraid the time for agreements has been long over. Now we must provide the right atmosphere for the stage. Light the candles and sensors and get the spotlight working. Actor must shine tonight. Actor? You're fucked up. Remember, if you slack at all tonight, there'll be some well-equipped supporting actors that'll come into play. And they aren't as lovable as I am, that I can promise. So don't fuck around. Oh, and you'll need a key. Go beneath the balcony I'm standing on. Fred is sitting there. Fred is eyeing the key. I'm sure you'll see.
two minutes remaining. Only one minute left. Victor Holloway is our hero. He's coped with everything that's been thrown his way. Proving that he is a capable man that women everywhere shall worship. This is not good. This is not good. Ah, oh, I believe our actor's 15 minutes of fame has expired. Take him off the cross piece by piece. Every man and every woman is a star. And now it's your turn to become one. What? Afterwards, go backstage through the curtain. There, you'll find a bin. Hurry now. The clock is tick, tick, ticking away. <laughs> See? This is my chance. I gotta get the fuck out of here. Victor. Victor, where are you going? I don't want to give out any spoilers, but you're not going towards a happy end. We've captured the Seeing One, Mr. Victor Holloway. During the abduction, I had a chance to test his ability to carry out commands while under stress. 
I've waited for this moment for so long. He is exceptional. Truly exceptional. A lot of them were promising. And you know how they ended. It's true. But we must remain optimistic as we follow the path of purification. Thank you, Rhea. You can go now. I'll deal with the seeing one personally. Welcome, Victor! You finally made it. Bravo! As you've probably guessed by now, I am Dr. Charles Austerlitz, and this is my devout pack. And together we are known as the Scarlet Lodge. I do hope that no one was too harsh with you. Some of them tend to get carried away with their work. What the fuck do you want from me? Oh dear, calm down. Nobody wants to hurt you. If you cooperate with us, you'll soon be cozied up in your dusty abode. And all in one piece, I assure you. But, for now, we need your help. I don't understand. Why me? I, I'm nobody. Natural selection bestows unique talents at random. Which comes with a bit of malice on her part. You are a seen one. You are attuned to the energy of Lustka, the land of ecstasy. The visions that haunt you, they are more than meaningless dreams. Much, much more. You have an extraordinary gift that can serve as a bridge between the dimensions. What are you talking about? You're fucking insane! To some, I'm a madman. To others, I am their savior. Now enough chatter. Let's get down to business, Victor. In a moment, we will transport you to Lustka. Once there, you'll find an important item hidden nearby. It's a book called The Nature of Universes. Bring it back. It must return to the Austerlitz family. You kidnapped me to get you a fucking book? You're just a bunch of psychos! You're tasked to find the book and return to the place you arrived. It's as simple as that. I think this appointment is over, Doctor. How much do I owe you? I wonder if your jokes will still have punchlines once you feel the breath of the changed on your neck. Lustka is a world as real as ours, so remain cautious. If you die while there, then it's all over. Checkmate. Now, please, relax, and open your mind to the energy of Lustka. I will help you. <laughs> Don't return without the book.
Nature of Universes by Doreen Austerlitz. What's it doing here? The theories presented are based on the interrogations of a dozen seeing ones. Their visions come together as a coherent whole and are the key to understanding Lustga. 
Through this knowledge, we draw closer to comprehending the incomprehensible. What the fuck have I gotten myself into?
You don't even know how much this means to us. You are our deliverance. Now, place the book on the pedestal. So it's done. This is over now? <laughs> You and your jokes. Just put the book on the pedestal. Fine. Uh, I'm setting the book there, and then I'm leaving. Good boy. I'll, uh, I'll forget about all this, okay? Just let me live. Let me go home. Hmm, fascinating. Now, put the book under pedestal. Purification is coming. And as for the seeing one, throw him in a cell. He has many more journeys to Moscow before him. Ah, my head is spinning. Where the hell am I? I was worried that we lost you forever. Why are you wearing a mask? And what the hell am I wearing? What's going on here? You were naked and injured when they brought you here. You shivered and mumbled in your sleep. But it's okay now. You're not alone anymore. What happened? What is this place? We're on the outskirts of Bleakmoor. Here, the Scarlet Lodge can't get to us. I'm sure you have many questions. But it's Sabinian who can inform you better. I am only here to keep an eye on you. Who is Sabinian? He's the owner of this property. He's also Amanda's right-hand man. Ah, Amanda. You should have said that right away. Who the fuck is Amanda? <laughs> Sabinian will tell you everything. He's inside the library. Who are you? Uh, where are my manners? You can call me Mabel. Just Mabel. I wish we had met under better circumstances, Mabel. I'm Victor, but lately everyone likes to call me the Seeing One. Perhaps it'll cheer you up to know that you are not the first. They say there are many Seeing Ones. Really? How many? Are, are any of them here? I think you will find those answers soon. Just not from me. Uh, alright. Why are you wearing a mask? It's part of the tradition in our society. One that I respect and honor. What kind of society wears masks? 
The best one. You'll see for yourself. <laughs> sure. Um, I'll go find Sabinian. And hey, I'm sorry if I've come across as rude. This whole situation has been a mindfuck. I understand. I need to find a phone and call Lily. This is going to be one hell of a conversation. We're in the outskirts. Good. The farther from Bleakmoor I am, the better. phone that's probably just for decoration. They have knickknacks everywhere. I wonder who dusts them. I've always been bad at pool. That's a bit creepy. I always preferred vintage army men toys. It really is a beautiful house. A little dusty, but that makes it even better for me.
Welcome, Seeing One. It's an honor to meet you. The last man who called me the Seeing One tried to kill me. I call you the Seeing One because you have an insight into the world that others do not. There's no need for dispute over semantics. However, know that any man who has the gift of seeing is extremely respected among our society. What am I doing here? Amanda and Jonathan saved you in the darkest hour. Everything is hazy, but honestly, I'd prefer not to remember any of it. You were very lucky, Victor. It's rare that someone escapes from the Scarlet Lodge. Amanda and Jonathan managed to get you out of the theater and brought you here. I never thought Jonathan for the violent type, but here we are. Jeez. Who are you? Well, we are like you. We know that the world around us is not the only view of reality. We're trying to find other seeing ones. But unlike the Scarlet Lodge, we don't want to use and brutalize them. So what is it that you want, then, if you're not the brutalizing and using type? We help the seeing ones and receive their visions with humility, as they wish it to be. Our goal is to understand Lustiga, and to do so, we reach out to those who have these visions. It's our understanding that seeing ones are appearing in the world, and nothing happens without a reason. At this point, I'm able to believe just about anything. Are there any other seeing ones here? Yes. Amanda the most powerful seeing one I have ever known. She guides us, and thanks to her, we will know the truth. When she arrives at the mansion, you will have your chance to speak to her. What's the Scarlet Lodge? They used to be part of our society. Together, we tried to peek behind the veil of reality and learn the secrets of Lustiga, the land of eternal ecstasy. Unfortunately, there was a tragedy. Long ago, we managed to transfer to the other dimension. However, some of the group stayed behind too long. Their bodies experienced an ecstasy that bordered on pain, and their minds were drowned in inconceivable terror. After these events, they turned their backs on us, and now they obsessively seek to destroy everything related to Lustiga. Some of them have become unpredictable animals that even Austerlitz cannot control. Austerlitz forced me to go into an alien world to retrieve a book. It was something called uh, the nature of universes. And when the vision was over, I still had it with me. How was that possible? Was it real? You came back from Lustgall with an object in your hands. There is no better proof that Lustgall is a material place. In the book you mentioned, the nature of universes, that being in the hands of Austerlitz is a tremendous threat. It contains dangerous knowledge. Many of the seeing ones were forced to search for the book. They weren't as lucky as you. Why don't you report it to the police? They're a bunch of psychotic freaks. The Scarlet Lodge has a grip on the police. They're just waiting for us to reveal our position and then Austerlitz could destroy us. I think you know enough for now, seeing one. You should rest. Amanda will be back soon. Then we'll talk some more. Can I make a call? I'm sure my fiance is worried. If you must. Is that a problem? As I mentioned, the Scarlet Lodge has ties with the police and I'm afraid that they might track us. That's why we conduct some peculiar methods of operation around here. The phone downstairs is disconnected for that reason. But here, take this key for the upper floor. Go to my room and use one of the phones hidden behind the painting. The phone's behind a painting. Don't talk too long and destroy the phone as soon as you're done. Under no circumstances should you reveal our location. Do I make myself clear? For all of us, but especially for your fiance, that would be dangerous knowledge to uncover. Hmm. Okay. I'll be careful. I don't know what to think about all this, and how to tell Lily it. She's gonna think I'm crazy. An impressive collection of books. I could spend the entire day here.
Well, that's interesting. Disappointing.
collection of mechanical oddities. No way I could sleep here. Where do I start? Hello? Lily! Hey, it's me! But... Victor... I called the hotel so many times, but no one would answer. God... I was so worried. I thought you were going to call me after your appointment with the doctor. Where are you? Look, I really don't know where to start. Everything's been crazy. I... almost died, Lily. What? What are you talking about? What happened? My visions. They're real. Do you understand? Dr. Austerlitz wanted to use me because of them. His people are everywhere. What? Where are you? D did you go to the police? No, 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 no. The police work with them. They're all part of the Scarlet Lodge. Whatever that is. Shit! Uh, Lily, I know what this sounds like, but something seriously fucked up is going on. I don't even know where I am. I think I'm on the outskirts of Bleakmoor. At least that's what they're telling me. But, but who's saying that? What does this place look like? Tell me whatever you can. Oh, that's probably her. Shit, Lily, I have to go. I will call you soon, I promise. Victor, don't even try to be funny with me. Tell me where the fuck you are right now. Lily, there's someone here that's like me. She has visions too, or so they say. I have to go. I'm sorry. I'll call you back soon. Victor! Victor, don't you dare fucking hang up on me! Sorry. What's going on? The Scarlets were sending him to Lustgaw. He almost lost his mind. There are pills in the bathroom that'll help him. Get them fast. Are you Amanda? Now is not the time. Go, get the pills. Uh, yeah, okay. Didn't your folks teach you to knock? Oh shit. Uh, sorry. Amanda told me to get some pills that are in here. Sure. Everyone says that. He hasn't seen the shitting freak yet, has he? Fucking weirdo. Donald, didn't you hear Amanda? Someone's hurt. The pills you're looking for are in the cupboard above the sink. 
Sorry about Donald. He doesn't know when to keep his mouth shut. Gah! I have to share my shitting time with you forever. But apparently that's not enough. Now you're inviting everyone in the mansion to be an audience. As for you, take these drugs and get the fuck out! Uh, right. And to think that a few days ago, I would have found that encounter strange. I'm back. Give the pills to B Bobby. Poor chap. The host guy almost took him out. Oh, I could use some whiskey. Like a whole bottle actually christ what was that i uh, what did you find in lustka i don't know the words there are no words for it i heard screams from above i take it you've met the Sh shackley brothers are they from lustka too just because you haven't met anyone like them before doesn't mean there's no one like that they're conjoined twins ah i see um hey you're the guy that saved me from the scarlet lodge right y yes th that'd be me boy that was a rough one but I'm glad the new seeing one is with us. I'm Jonathan, by the way. I'm, uh, I'm Amanda's husband. Victor. Victor Holloway. Where's Amanda? I was supposed to talk to her. Jeez, my head is spinning, spinning, and spinning. Amanda, my wife, went to talk with Sib Sabinian. They're probably in her room on the top floor. They're only talking, though. <laughs> it might be better to wait until the meeting is over. Do you think I can use one of Sabinian's phones? I didn't get to finish my conversation earlier, and my fiance is pretty worried about me. <sighs> if I were you, I wouldn't make such m moves without his permission. Then I'll wait. Can I have a look around in the meantime? It'll be good for me to keep my mind busy. I'm an antiquarian, so I have a soft spot for dusty places full of junk. Uh, not that it's dusty here, or that it's filled with junk, per se. I, uh, just mean I wanted to stretch my legs a bit. Mabel used to keep things tidy, but lately she's only been cr crying in the corners. And this decor is part of the tradition of our uh, society. L look around if you like. Oh, right. In the theater, we found a chest filled with things taken from, you know, the seeing ones. It's near the exit door. Sure. I'll check it out. And, hey, Whatever happened back there, thanks. No, pr no problem. Let me know if you need anything. I'll be here with B Bobby, and don't go stabbing anyone with that knife. <laughs> Closed. Hmm. What if I wanted to leave?
<laughs> now he shat his pads before our eyes. <laughs> Two assholes with one ass. Marvelous. Maybe you'd like to have only one head as well. I'm sorry. We found this mask in Sabinian's room and Donald made me do it. Ah, I'm only kidding. Man, you really got me there for a minute. <laughs> what? No! That didn't go according to plan. Shit, shit, shit. Cheering yourself up with some cards? Cheering up? Oh, Jonathan told you. Nothing new. He's such a blabbermouth. And these are not typical cards. They're tarot. My cards tell me I'm gonna be gone soon. I was planning to leave right after talking to Amanda. I just have to wait for her meeting with Sabinian to end. I came to say goodbye, and thank you again for looking after me. You're not staying with us? Why would I stay? Maybe the cards will answer your question. My tarot can enlighten you and shed light on your fate. I don't believe in that crap. Not since I figured out who Santa Claus really was. Hmm. After what you've seen, perhaps you should open your mind to the unknown. Sit down, please. I guess I have to wait anyway. Well then, let's begin. Huh. <sighs> Here's the card spread that will reveal the secrets of your life axis. As you can see, they're divided into three segments. The one on your left symbolizes the past. The middle one is the present, and the right is for the future. Simple enough? Now, choose the cards that speak to you. Hmm. Okay. The Hermit. It looks like you've focused a lot on your inner self lately. You analyze actions and your thoughts and feelings. Where do you think this has taken you? Ha! <laughs> yeah, I... I once looked inside myself and saw how rotten it was. That was when my doctor turned out to be worse than the disease. I've made better life choices. Oh, right. You've already learned something about yourself. Time for the second card. Choose it from the other two spheres of time. Sure, okay. Lovers. The presence of this card in present time means that perhaps the fate of your relationship is at stake. It means that despite the amalgamation, lovers remain two minds of their own, both with separate beliefs and outlooks. Sounds good to me. I don't want to be a two-headed being. Look at these Shackleys. You think they're having a good time? You're able to ruin everything. The Wheel of Fortune. It means that your destiny is coming, and you are powerless against it. And what is my destiny? It's impossible to say exactly. Everything is momentary and changes constantly occur. Fate is a rough ocean to navigate. You should write poetry. That's all. I hope the tarot cards helped you understand some aspects of your fate. What did you think of it? I found out something about myself. You're pretty good with those cards. <laughs> Thanks, Victor. Men often tell me that. I'm the one who should be thanking you. This was a welcome distraction for me. Amanda is waiting for you in her room, seeing one. All right, I'll go to her now. And after that, 
Have you already learned your destiny? So you believe in those tarot cards and other magical mumbo jumbo too, huh? Esoteric themes are full of kitsch and contradictions, but I believe in destiny as a philosophical construct. Anyway, the negation of existence of free will is a dominant theme in the world of science. I must have slept during that lesson. Amanda must be getting impatient, seeing one. Where is she? Hmm. This is a good opportunity to look around. What's with these weird masks? Victor, right? Yeah, Victor Holloway. I'm Amanda Moon. I've been searching for you ever since I caught a glimpse of the antique shop in my vision. I sent people to find you, but unfortunately, I had too little information to make it in time. What are you? It was my voice that you heard. I called on you. I felt you. Our minds are fused with Lestgoth. I was able to connect with you through visions. And yes, I know what it sounds like. But there's no other explanation for it. Magic. I'm supposed to believe it. The land of ecstasy is real. And we are its voice on Earth. You can't run away. So you should stop denying it. How am I supposed to end this? I want some peace of mind. Nothing else. Because of these... visions. I lost sense of myself. I... Hit Lily, I fell into the trap of that bastard Austerlitz. I almost died. These visions are not a burden. A powerful force from another universe chose us. Imagine how much that means. What does this powerful being want from us? What does it want from me? It's Lauferbrock, the lustful god. I listen to his voice. Lately, I've been trying to figure out why so many seeing ones have appeared. And what did you find out? I know how to solve your problems. If you only help me. What do you mean? You are not sick. It's Lustgar that has a disease. And only we can help it. Come with me. What will be, will be.
to the land of ecstasy. I feel different somehow. And for the first time, I'm not naked. When you transition through a portal, you don't leave any part of yourself on Earth. That includes all your belongings. Great. Finally, I have something to protect myself. Before you start swinging your letter opener, at least try to understand the world around you. Now, follow me. Watch out for the Menags. A few hits and you may not make it back home in one piece. I thought I would be safer by having you around. You are. It's just that even I can't tame everything here. Why do you call this place the Land of Ecstasy? This isn't how I'd picture ecstasy. This world was adapted to beings much different from you and I. But even it looked less ominous eons ago. For me, this place is amazing despite it all. You really don't see any beauty in it? Are you serious? This place is the definition of terror. One careless step and you're gone. Or worse. The Amazon can also be dangerous in its own right. Yet it's still beautiful. The animals in the Amazon just want to survive. But here, evil lurks around every corner. In the face of the Absolute, there is no such thing as evil. There are only universes and their laws. This is Lustka. We're not meant to pass judgment here. Where are we even going? Towards Zuthrar. And even though we could get there faster, know that we'll stray a bit. Because I want to show you as much as possible. Can you look for a gem with this matching shape? We have to open the gate. Do you look for it every time you're here? Passages close, open, even change positions. Luska is alive. Therefore, we will never know this world in its entirety. Come on, open the gate. The Seeing Ones, fused with Lystga, are especially sensitive to it. With a little practice, we can direct its flow. In a moment, I'll show you what I mean. See this crystal? It's a tool of the Omniscient. Filling it with essence activates a mechanism containing a memory that reconstructs the build. Who are the omniscients? We can discuss that later. For now, watch. Such power. It's impressive. You can do it too. Come. Uh, is it safe? Come.
Why is it screaming? I don't know. That didn't happen before. What is it anyway? A statue of Ugra Ekna, the great liberator. Does it remind you of anything? Maybe. To get to the other side, we have to find a way through the Monags. A while ago, I met with a being whose light scared those... tongues. That was a mature Vorn. We'll try to get his help. This is a good time to learn how to wield essence. Look for the source, absorb it, then come back to me. Uh, what? How am I supposed to absorb it? Reach out your hand and imagine the energy flowing into your body. It may seem strange at first, but you're a seeing one. You can do it. Right. even doing? How was it? It was surprisingly easy and I feel fine. More than fine, actually. I knew you could do it. Okay, let's focus on the task at hand. Look at these obelisks. We can use them to our advantage. But how? They served as transmitters of energy in Lustka. They can still be filled with essence. Vorn loses essence as it enters maturity and longs to be replenished. So when it senses a gathering of essence in the vicinity, it should gravitate towards it. And I'm supposed to do that? Fill it with... essence? Imagine it leaves your body and goes to the obelisk. If it fails, you will lose your energy and you'll have to look for another source of essence. Give it a try. Great! As you can see, you're a natural. What's next? Find Vorn and activate the nearby obelisk. That's how you'll summon him. Guide him by activating the subsequent obelisks, and he will lead you safely for the Manax. On it!
did you get here? I have my ways. As for Vorn, you did better than I thought. Let's go. It looks scary. There is nothing to fear. Go ahead. Oh, oh fucking hell. I, I feel so weak. Why did you let me go through it? Vlock is a symptom of the plague in this world. If there's no other way, you must go through it. There's a crystal on the other side. You know what to do with it. Keep your eyes open. There should be a source of essence nearby. These beings... I've met them before. These are the enthralled. Are they dangerous? The most they can do is drool on you. They are less friendly when they get corrupted, though. What is corrupting them? First, let's take care of the bridge. on the crystal. This can be more difficult than activating the obelisks. I'll do what I can. Hmm. I'm impressed. I'm starting to like this. It's nice to feel, uh... Power? Yeah, I guess you could call it that. It's a nice change after thinking I was losing my marbles. beast is that? I feel like I've already seen it somewhere. Zuthra is not far from here. Let's go. We need to find another gem to open the gate. Look around. Come here. Look at this. Gross. Ah, and it reeks. Nothing new. This is Garna. A cancer that corrupts Lustga. Wait, a tumor that corrupts a whole world? See that sporangia? If you pull a corrupted enthrall near it and kill him, you will feed it with the disease. Then the tumor will grow, and you'll be able to walk over it. Kill the enthralled? Ah, uh, I don't like it. It's the only way to get around here. We use what we must to survive this place. Shit. It looks so... likable. 
The corrupted enthralled will follow you when he senses essence. Lead him to the Sporangia, then stab him. If there's no other way... Doing good. Amanda, where are you? Amanda?
leave me alone here. You need to know how to protect yourself. I won't always be around. I don't intend to ever come back here. Have hope. Zuthrar is close. Go. got there. Something always interrupted the vision. Once it was even by you. What? Lily was there. And then uh, I don't I don't want to talk about it. I've been trying to contact you, but whatever you saw in your dreams, I had no control over it. Is this Zutra? Zutra is behind this gate. Can you feel it? I feel something like the power of this place. Ugh, I don't, I don't know. It's hard to describe. Here we are. Go on. Touch it and it will open. Why don't you do it yourself? I saw you in a vision for a reason. I'm sure it was a thought implanted by the lustful god. Lalvabrar calls for help, and his scream reveals more of the Seeing Ones. Among them will be the person who enters Zuthrar. And I've held hope that it could be you. And how is that supposed to help me? In Zuthrar, there's the Lustga healing mechanism, created by the Omniscience. With their collapse, it stopped working, and this world has become sensitive to the corruption you saw. When you open the gate, you will heal it, and Lavabrak will no longer have a reason to cry out for help. The story will end for you. Just like that. Hocus Pocus, and it all ends. Yes. Touch the gate at the central point. All right. Let's get this over with. Amanda, are you okay? You've seen him, haven't you? I saw... something, and, and I heard a voice. There's no entry to Zuthrar. There's no escape from Zuthrar. Only the one who created these truths can hold the key. It's like someone has engraved it in my mind. You heard Lauverbrock, the lustful god, speak. That's incredible, Victor. What's next? What's this key? I don't know yet, but I'll find out. This... this is something. When I touched the gate, nothing happened. Lauverbrock brought me to you for a reason. There's something special about you. I did what you wanted. Why is this not the end? I was sure Zuthra would open. Without it, your visions won't cease. I'll talk with the Enlightened about this. Let's go back.